Hi, this is Jared with DreamHomeFilms.com and today we have a special treat. Teresa Beaver, who actually grew up in the house, was at the house when we showed up and we're going to go explore. This tree is so huge because when I lived here it was maybe, I don't know, seven, eight feet tall. This little tulip tree right here. This was our dining room and, and den area. We had our, our TV and our Atari oh, yeah. set up here. And we used to sit here and play Atari when I was a kid. My dad, I just got off the phone with him and he actually told me that, we, that he purchased that wood stove that's there. When, when it's cold, this is at night when everybody's gonna be in bed. So it was nice having the wood stove right here where it's right close to the bedrooms. And I remember getting up early in the morning and running out here to restock the, <laughs> the wood. Yeah, but this is our bedroom. I didn't venture into here very often, so. <laughs> there used to be a honeysuckle outside the window here. It's not there anymore, but there was a nice honeysuckle right outside the window. It was always really nice to be able to smell the honeysuckle coming through the window over here. They, I see they put in some new vinyl windows. See any of the stickers or anything from when you were a kid? <laughs> no, my parents would not have allowed me to put stickers on anything. <laughs> there was like um, bar room swinging doors that were here for this room. Um, I, I think we had a, a tub and shower. I don't remember having a separate shower when I was here. Yeah, good amount of space. You could quite a few people in here. Yeah. Well, my mom and I used to work in here and we'd, uh, when we were working on doing preserves and stuff and, and trying to find something to do with all the apples that we got off the property. There's some pear trees too, so we always had an abundant fruit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And come out here and, and pick strawberries. Summers must be great. Oh yeah, it was. It's beautiful here. It's absolutely beautiful. Here. Actually, this apple tree that's behind you is the one that my sister was swinging on when she, her and her friend, rolled down the hill in the tire swing. Yeah, there's a creek that runs back there. Well, thanks, Teresa, for going through the house with us and telling us the stories. And thank you for watching. This is Jr. with DreamHomeFilms.com. So you miss living in this part? Yeah, I, I do sometimes. Well, so. if you ever want to buy a house, let us know. We'll help you out. <laughs>